G'day YouTubers, I'm just doing a quick review on this PFD that I got. The background story behind it is that I've always had an inflatable life jacket because I don't fancy the idea of being under an overturned boat on the bar and having a normal life jacket on that trying to float me up underneath the boat while I'm trying to get out. So I've always had an inflatable but my wife hasn't thought they're necessary. She only goes out in the calm days in the bay. So she's used the normal life jacket and we've had a few spares for anyone that's come with us. But recently my wife got a kayak which we take out on the boat and she enjoys playing with and the normal life jacket's a bit bulky for that so she's been using my old inflatable so what i did is i decided she could use the inflatable and i would buy myself a new one nothing wrong with the old one but i just thought i'd get one with a pocket anyway here's the review on it we decided to get another pfd so my wife had an inflatable one so she's inheriting the old one and I've got this new one. A little bit different from the other brand. Uh, fine. It's got stainless steel attachments. So the buckle just works like that. It's easy to get on and off. A little bit different. It has got a lifting ring on it. And it's got another secondary lock up there. Just to keep it closed. But the main reason I picked this was this feature here. It's got a pocket. And it's quite a large pocket. I've got the PLB. So many alphabets these days. We've got the PFD and the PLB goes in the PFD. So anyway, the personal locator beacon fits inside here. A little bit hard to just sort of wriggle in, but it does fit. Once you get it wriggled in, it just slides down there quite easily. And leave your rope up top. I poke it in, but leave it up top so that if, you know, heaven forbid, you ever do need it. So once you open the zipper there, you can grab the rope and get that around your wrist and tighten it up before you take it out. You've got no chance of losing it and you're able to activate it then. Other than that, everything else is pretty straightforward about it. The only thing I don't like about it is the distance that this hangs down. I'm just a little bit frightened it'll get caught on something one day and I'll end up setting it off by accident. I think I might tie a knot in that and just bring it up a little bit closer. But other than that, it's really comfortable probably mentioned it in some of the other videos but when I'm out by myself I wear this 24-7 even sleep in it and it's quite comfortable to sleep in hardly know you got it on once you get it adjusted found it really hard to find PFD that actually had a pocket in it looked at everything in the shops and couldn't find one I eventually found this one on eBay obviously there's other brands that make it but as I say I just found it really hard to find one I'll put a link to the eBay shop in the description if you're interested in getting one for yourself that has a pocket in it and you're, like me, having some trouble finding them. Well there you have it. Apart from the new one having a pocket, the only other major difference is that the old one had a zipper to keep it closed and the zipper was designed to pop when you inflated the jacket. The new one has Velcro and of course that's designed to come apart when you inflate the jacket. Whether a zipper or Velcro is best in the long term and how durable it's going to be, how long it'll stand up, I am not sure. I guess time will tell. I expect the zipper will be fine, the plastic zipper on the old one. The only question is the Velcro, really. Velcro's been around for a long time now. I've only noticed Velcro deteriorating with use, so since this isn't going to be getting inflated and deflated all the time, it should be just fine. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, there's a link down in the description. And personally, I reckon a PFD and a PLB and an EPIRV, flares, all the rest of that gear is just really cheap insurance. So consider getting them. Put a bit of thought into what's going to work best for you. Stay safe, and until next time, good fishing.